Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. What's going on guys? Welcome back to some <laughs> seriously hyped beer reviews. Um, I mean, you guys know Kyle at No Hype. This is full hype beer review right now. Um, <laughs> Treehouse decided to go and do some shit a couple weeks ago and they released very <laughs> hazy. <laughs> Which is crazy because um, I don't think they've ever done the double dry hop version of Haze, which would be <laughs> Haze. <laughs> um, Nate just said, fuck it. I'm going to take very hazy and double dry hop that bitch. So that's what's happening. This beer, seriously, like it's ridiculous what I've seen on like Twitter and Facebook. Um, I even decided to look up just the rating that it's getting. It is averaging a 4.8 on Untapped right now, which is insane. Like, I think if you look up like uh, like OGSR 71, like that beer, KBVS maybe at 4.8. I don't even know if those like whaley stouts are getting the ratings that this beer is getting. It's it's crazy. So um, I'm stoked. Uh, my man Jake from Northeast Beer Community. Um, sent me a message on Twitter and was like, hey, I want to send you some beers. And this was one of the beers in the box. I'll show you that label again, because it is absolutely sexy. Um, this is a pretty label, 8.8% uh, .8 double IPA. So yeah, this is the double dry hop version of Very Hazy, which is one of my favorite Treehouse beers ever. I reviewed that, I think like four or so years ago when they first uh, dropped it. I think I did it on like one of my, I did it for one of my birthday um, reviews. So love that beer, absolutely amazing. This says Sofa King, very hazy. That's funny. Uh, canned on March 30th. So uh, we are just a little over a week in the can. I'm pumped to check this out. Uh, Jake's got a rad Instagram and a Twitter. I'll link to all that stuff in the description if you guys want to go check him out. Um, please do so. So uh, he actually sent me some glassware, but I figured for very <laughs> hazy, we had to use our treehouse glassware because beer tastes better in proper glassware. And I just figured I'd be doing a disservice to this beer if I didn't use the proper soap glassware. So that's what we're doing. Um, and this looks like an amazing treehouse beer. This actually looks a little bit darker. Um, this kind of looks old school like Julius to me. It's that deep, dark orange, um, but it is just pulpy haze. You cannot see anything through it. And it is a fluffy finger of like an Kind of an off-white head. You can take a spoon and scoop that out. That beer looks absolutely fire in that glass. I just, I, I can't imagine this beer is gonna live up to the hype that like, people are saying it's the best beer they've ever had. I'm like, let's let's just pump the brakes a little bit. Um, I think they originally were doing four packs of this. And then as the cans went down, you could get like a two pack of it. So um, that's where we're at with this beer. <laughs> is that part of the hype? I have no idea. Um, Haze is amazing. Um, Haze is one of my favorite Treehouse beers. Green is my favorite Treehouse beer of all time. Um, but I would probably drink Haze before Julius. Um, I would drink Haze before. So I cannot believe that this just happened. Um, <laughs> the My microphone just died. It's gone. It doesn't work anymore. So my, it was plugged in for the first part of this and now this is not plugged in. So I can't believe that during this video um, that the audio is gonna be like this. So I apologize. It's crazy. So got to get a new mic. Um, so <laughs> what was I saying before that happened? Uh, I think I was saying there's no way I, I was just saying, I don't think there's any way that this beer could live up to the hype that people were saying, um, this beer is. So, um, there's only one way to figure it out and we're going to drink it. So, um, I don't know how long we are into this video and we haven't even smelled or tasted it yet. So show her fat nose and I can smell it from here. <laughs> I mean, this takes me back to old school treehouse. I will say that this smells like just crazy. Like, I mean, it smells like orange juice, um, but it also smells like a mixture of like peachy pineapple juice. And there's a little bit of like, there's a, there's a green kind of dank, um, like just kind of hot bite. And there's a little bit of a sweetness to this. I don't, I mean, this is almost 9% and it's been sitting out. I don't know if that's a little bit of booze that's coming through, but um, it's not offensive. It doesn't smell hot by any means, but I think there might be like a little twinge of booze. But this smells like creamy, like orange juice. It smells like, like orange, like 
I talked about like uh, Orange Julius, like where there's vanilla ice cream, like kind of a, like an orange kind of a sorbet thing. But it smells like that crazy, like fruit cocktail that you would get um, at school in the cafeteria that was like, it sits in, um, it sits in like sugar, like sugar water. Like that's what that smells like. And it's not in a bad way. <laughs> it smells, this beer is fucked. It's one of the best smelling treehouse beers I've ever smelled. It's got that yeasty, like treehouse bubblegum thing. The nose of this is fire. Let's go and taste it. Jake, cheers. Thanks, bro. Appreciate you. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty good. That's really, really fucking good. Um, I like how explosive this is. And even though I thought I might have smelled like a twinge of alcohol, um, this does not come off as boozy at all which is awesome. The fact that this is near 9% and drinks like juice, that's pretty fucking crazy. It's intense orange juice. It's intense peach juice. Intense, like, I, there's even like a stone, like, it's like, it's not like straight peaches, but like even like kind of apricot maybe, like some sort of stone fruit that's not just peaches. Um, but yeah, it's fruit cocktail. It's crazy. This is really, really good. I think the last time I was really like blown away by a treehouse beer was, was a very good green, I think. Uh, I really, really like that. I've talked about it. Treehouse has been hit and miss um, since they moved and we don't need to beat that dead horse in the last four years or however long they've been. Um, I've gotten some treehouse beers that I really, really like. I've gotten some treehouse beers that I was just like, eh, these are meh, which is weird because I mean, Nate doesn't make bad beer. I don't understand like why some of their beers are just kind of eh now, but we don't need to get talk about that. Um, this is peak treehouse. This is like, this is the best of the best when it comes to their beer. The mouth feels creamy. It's so fruity, it's tropical, tons and tons of citrus. Um, and you get a nice, just bready, like sweetness on the finish that just, it just kind of, works well with all the hops. This beer is hoppy, like it's juice, but it's it still is hoppy. Um, like there's a little bit of bitterness that lingers on your tongue. Usually Treehouse is soft. And I've noticed in, other, in the past Treehouse reviews, if you watching my recent Treehouse reviews, um, I've noticed like there's a, like a green kind of dank thing that they offer. And I don't know if he's just using a ton more hops. This, you can tell there's just a shitload of hops in this beer. Um, but for being almost 9%, it doesn't drink like that. This is soft, it's creamy, it's just, like I said, this is the best of the best. This is, I mean, when you think of Treehouse and you like think about why you fell in love with them back in the day, it's beers like this that we're doing it. This beer is absolute fire. I mean, listen, is this the best hoppy beer I've ever had? I don't think so. Um, I mean, is this the end all be all? No, but if this was the only beer I could drink forever, would I be happy with that? Of course I would. I mean, I have, a, you know, a fridge full of this like it's just erection inducing even thinking about it um but i mean behind limited releases like this like one-offs there's going to be a ton of hype and i mean does this beer live up to the hype sure but this isn't the best beer of all time and that's fine this beer is world there you'll i mean you'd be hard pressed to find beers better than this um but this isn't something where i mean i saw people selling these i think for 100 bucks a can like go fuck yourself doing that that's stupid um but this is, I mean, like I said, this is as good as it gets with Treehouse. This is absolutely fantastic. I love this. I wish, um, <laughs> I wish I could have had, you know, a case of this. It would be awesome. But um, even to be able to try this and just drink a can of it, like, it's fantastic. I love it. It's absolutely fantastic. I know I keep repeating myself and saying the word fantastic, but that's what happens when you drink a beer like this. This beer's fire. That's it. So, Jake, I appreciate you, bro. Thank you for sending this. Um, you know, if someone had said, why don't you give numeric grades anymore? This beer would be a hundred out of a hundred. There's nothing I would change about this beer. It's flawless in my opinion. Um, so there you go. There's your number grading. It's hashtag Hunnids. It's, it's great. So uh, that's very <laughs> hazy. I apologize for the audio in the second part of this video. Uh, I gotta get a new mic now. So <laughs> there will be no more reviews tonight, which is a bummer. I usually knock out a bunch of reviews in, in a single night and I'm not going to be able to do it tonight because I don't have a microphone, but I was already halfway into this one, so I couldn't, 
I could not finish it. So uh, that's it. Sorry for rambling. I'm out of here. You guys have it? Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. As always, thank you so much for watching. See you very soon. Cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade. All that shit. <laughs> Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe.